Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived. One more time. Let's uh, let, let's get it in, y'all. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is uh, a Watchman Derek. Uh, Israel, also known as Pastor Derek, on the early what I seek to scripture study and prayer line on his ninth day in August 2021. Uh, yeah, let's dive in this word. I got to deal with, uh, you know, uh, a, a teaching that, that, that's that been going forth that was supposed to stay under wraps and my, my brother kind of went against the grain and start, uh, you know, sharing some foolishness. Uh, with the mispaka and wasn't supposed to do that. And so I'll just, you know, I'm not going to bum rush it hard. You know, I'm going to bum rush it hard. Don't get it twisted. But I'm not going to bum rush it hard if you understand what I'm saying. But it just, we'll, we'll teach by revelation. We'll, we'll teach by revelation. We'll, we'll solve situation by revelation. Let's go to Exodus this morning. I'm just going to be touching and moving, and, and, you know. And let the Ruah do his job. Is that all right? <clears throat> so here we go. Um, I'm probably going to be dealing with it for a while, though. Don Deems, good to see you on. Uh, uh, Yamina Yahoo. Who is that? Trenda. What's up, man? Been too long. We need to talk. It's been way too long. Love you. You already know that. I just need to hear from you every now and then. But, um, Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we can just dive in. I got a lot of word to disclose this morning. So Exodus, uh, 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 here we go, 25. I, I really just want the eighth verse, right? But to give you the backdrop, you know, you know, Yasharel is in the wilderness. Melissa, good to see you all. Nilly Bo, call me, son. This morning, as soon as we get off, call me. Say yes, so I can know you're going to call me. Anyway, um, Exodus, uh, uh, I really want the eight first, right? But the backdrop is they're in the wilderness with uh, with, uh, with, 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 uh, with with Moses, Mos Moshe, right? And he's collecting from them to build the tabernacle, right? And the eight first says this. Thank you, son. The a first says this, Mother Katie, good to see you on. The a first says, and let them make me a sanctuary. This is Yahuwah talking to them. Yahweh talking to this, you know, to 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 Moshe concerning the children of Yasharel. Look what he say. He said, let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. Let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. Let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. He want to be with his children. Why did they build the tabernacle? So they could have access to the Most High? That's the reason. And let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. How will we know that but by the Most High? He the one said, he said, why? So you, you got, he, he's, 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 he's getting the stuff that they spoiled from the Egyptians. He hand this stuff here to me that I might dwell among you, right? Paquita, good to see you all. Raya, there you go. You know you loved Miss Paca. Straight up, you know we love you. You're a wonderful woman. A daughter of the Most High. Let them make a sanctuary that we may dwell among them. Latrissa Johnson, good to see you on, right? Let's go to exit. I just want to say that there was a reason that the tabernacle was built. The tabernacle was made because the Most High wanted to dwell among us. Q, what it do, man? Good to see you on, fam. Exodus 29, 45. Look what this say. Th then I will dwell amongst Yasharel, the Israel, right? And, and, and be their Elohim. They will know that I am Yah, their Elohim who brought them out of Egypt so I might dwell, here we go again, dwell among them. I am Yah, the Elohim. What, what is his desire? He wants to dwell amongst his children. Nicole, he wants to dwell among us. 
Miss Robinson. Hallelujah. Come on now. Thank you, Rhea. Come on now. He want, he want, he want, he want that, that, that's why the tabernacle was made. We'll get deeper into the tabernacle as we move forward, but I'm just showing you why he had the tabernacle. The tabernacle was created for a reason, and the reason come from the most high. Visha, you in here. But now, let's deal with this. Go to Acts 7, 44. I'm going to get a little deeper. I'm going to move. I'm going to keep it moving, but I just want to show you all this, right? Acts 7, 44. Look what they say. Talking about the tabernacle, right? Look. Acts 7, 44. Look what they say. It says, um, our fathers had the tabernacle of witness in the wilderness, right? <laughs> and the tabernacle really witnessed to the Mashiach, but that's a whole nother conversation, right? But look what they say. Our fathers had the tabernacle of, of witness in the wilderness as he had appointed speaking on the Moshe that he should make it according to the fashion that he had seen. So it was the, it was the most high that created uh, 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 the, 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 the blueprint for the tabernacle and, and, and the most, and, and the most high had showed it on the Moshe, right? Which also our fathers came after brought in, uh, 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 uh I'm gonna call him Joshua, but he's really Yahusha, just like the Mashiach. He's the namesake. He was a shadow of the Mashiach coming, which is some more proof of who the Mashiach is, but let's just rock with it. Right. 45. Which also our fathers that came after brought in Yahusha into the possession of the Gentiles, whom Yah drave out before the face of the fathers onto the days of uh, uh, David, right? David, if however you want to pronounce it, David or David, right? <clears throat> but 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 the Most High sent his the children of Yahshuael through Canaan. And was driving out the Gentiles, right? The foreign, the, the 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 other nations, right? Before them, all the way until the day of David, right? Who found favor with Yah and desired to find a tabernacle for Yah of Yaakov, right? Right? David wanted to build a house for the Most High to dwell in. Are y'all with me? Forty-six verse, right? Forty-seven said, but Solomon, his son, built the house. Because David had blood on his hands. He, he messed up. He did some stuff, right? So, 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 but Solomon built a house, right? How be it the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands. Did y'all hear that? I don't care who built it. He visited. But that, that wasn't the, that wasn't the desired a, a dwelling place. This is when you start dealing in the Ruach. Dave, I'm answering the stuff that was taught yesterday, right? I'm dealing with it now, Dave, Dave Alhock. So, so, wish you had your pen and your paper out. But, however, <clears throat> look what it say. Howbeit the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet. Right? Heaven is is my throne, and earth is my footstool. This is the Most High. Heaven is His throne, and earth is my footstool. What house will you build me? Man, you can't build me no house. He don't dwell in houses made with hand. He visited. He visited houses. He visited the tabernacle. He vi he visited uh, the, the the tabernacle in, in, in the tabernacle of witness in the wilderness. He visited the tabernacle uh, 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 of Solomon. He visited, but he don't he don't, he don't he don't dwell in, in, in tabernacles made with hands. If, if you start really understanding proper th theology, you'll find that the, the, that the Most High is a Ruah. He's a spirit. He dealt with us on our level. He dealt with natural things, shadows, and types to bring the Ruah, the word, on our level. It, it was the Ruah in Genesis, the third chapter, the voice of Yah walking in the garden when Adam and Eve ran, they, they ran from the Ruah. It wasn't a physical man walking in the garden. It was the Ruah, the word. If you go in Genesis and study it, right? Well, 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 because they had a spiritual connection. Well, when, when Adam sinned, 
he lost that spiritual connection and became spiritually dead. He didn't physically die right then, but he was spiritually dead. He said, the day you eat thereof, you should surely die. He died spiritually right then. He was cut off out of the spirit. Eloise, good to see you all. Bless you. But he died spiritually right then, right? So he's been dealing with us from a carnal standpoint ever since to lead us back into the fulfillment of the prophecy that the seed of the woman will bruise the head of the serpent and, and his heel and, and, and his and his and, and his head will bruise his heel. Which is the Mashiach, but let's keep talking, right? 49. Heaven is my throne, earth is my footstool. What house will you build me? You can't. I'm telling you that now. Says Yahuwah, and what place is my rest? Have not my hands made all things? I made it all, y'all. Now, now, I can keep going, but, but, but I'm a, I can keep reading, but I'm going to keep going instead, right? So look at this. Let me show you something. Matthew 1, 23. Matthew 1, 23. Look what this say, right? Matthew 1, 23. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, right? And they will call his name Emmanuel, which means Yah with us. Here we go again. Did we just read the reason why he built the tabernacle? Because he wanted to be with us, Yah with us? D -d Didn't it say that? Well, you got to understand progression. There's a progression going on in scripture. And some folks is, is stuck. They don't have a progression. They're rejecting the Mashiach. They, they don't understand the, they don't understand that the covenant that the Most High entered in in the beginning, the first prophecy that he gave to Adam and Eve in the beginning was that the seed of the woman would bruise the head of the serpent. That he, he didn't erase that. He's fulfilling it. Part of, of the fulfillment was him uh, uh, entering into a covenant agreement with Abraham to coin. What attracted the Most High to Abraham, which was faith. Rodney, good to see you on, man. What attracted the Most High to Abraham was not his melanin and his woolly hair. It was the faith. He wanted the faith of Abraham to coin reconciliation. That's the ingredient necessary for reconciliation. <coughs> which caused him to borrow the flesh of Abraham. Yeah, so that so that this scripture right here, Matthew one and three, could be fulfilled in the flesh of Abraham. Lakeisha Taylor, good to see you on, right? So Matthew one and twenty three, the virgin uh, will conceive and give a birth to a son. What is the son? See, I don't want to get too deep in, in the aside thing, but I'm gonna keep giving y'all nuggets. The son is what my mama made. The son is what Rodney mama made. The daughter is what my wife bought my maid. All the, all, all the, all the uh, 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 women that's on here, your mama made the daughter. Well, my mama made a son. Uh, Miriam, who they call Mary, the virgin conceived, and she birthed to a son. What was in the son is a whole nother level. She didn't have nothing to do with that. My mama didn't have nothing to do with what was inside of this son. Nor did Miriam have anything to do with what was inside the son that she made. That's why John 3 and 6 said, that which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of Ruah is Ruah, right? She didn't have nothing to do with the Ruah. She had everything to do with the Son. That's why Galatians 4 and 4 say, when the fullness of time was come, Yah sent forth his Son made of a woman, made under the law. The Son, the human being, was born under the law, and he fulfilled it to take us from up under the curse of the law, which is a whole nother lesson. Listen. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call his name Emmanuel. His name is not Emmanuel. They will call his name Emmanuel because the definition of his name will mean Yah with us. And if you look at Yahushua, it means Yah is salvation because he's with us. Listen. Remember, he said, I don't dwell in tabernacles made with hands. This is the tabernacle. That he was talking about. I'm trying to teach you something. Listen. The virgin <coughs> will conceive and give birth to a son. And they will call his name Emmanuel. Which means Yah with us. Is the son Yah? No. 
That's why when the man tried to call the Mashiach good, he said there's none good. But Yah. But now the word was made flesh. The word is Yah. That's why First Timothy 3 and 16 says, And without controversy, great is the mystery of Yahliness. Yah was manifested in the flesh. Justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached on the Gentile, believed on in the world, received back up in the glory, up and back up into Kabbalah. Rock with me, y'all. Let's go to John 1 and 1. Let's pull out the Hebrew this time, right? I don't know how many y'all use Bible Hub. I, a lot of us do. Those of us that support the ministry have been taking Hebrew. We're going to have to pause for a minute because of the teaching that's attached to the Hebrew teacher right now. We're going to, we're going to slow down on that until I finish dealing with him. He's my little brother. I love him, but now I'm dealing with it. Listen. <clears throat> so, Yachanah 1 and 14, look what he say. We, we rocking with we, we rocking with uh, the Hebrew now one and fourteen in the Bible Hub. If you put in Bible Hub, you'll get this, and then you click on in a linear, you know, and then and then you'll see it in in the Hebrew, right? And it says, uh, and the word and we beheld and among us and dwelt became flesh word. Well, let me do it this way: and the word flesh became and dwelt among us and we beheld right but this is the part i wanted and the word uh and the word flesh became and dwelt right the word became flesh and dwelt let's look up dwelt right dwelt <clears throat> in, in 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 the hebrew look what it say <coughs> it's got night it, it, it's got, it, it, in, in the i apologize in the, in the greek right Skane, skaneo, right? In the in the linear, right? Look, 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 look. What it means? It means I will dwell as in a tent, in camp, have my tabernacle. So the world was tabernacle, <clears throat> right? So so when you look at when you look at when you look at John one, right? When you look at John 1 and it said, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And the word became a human being and he was tabernacled. Because the most high don't dwell in tabernacles made with people. See, I've been teaching lately, the last week, right? I've been teaching about how, how man is obsolete in your salvation. Now to really get deep, and to give revelation, man has never had anything to do with your salvation and never will. This is between you and the Most High. He uses people. He uses uh, uh, symbolic uh, 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 buildings, uh, feast days and festivals and new moons and symbolisms. But it's all shadows of what's really going on in the Ruach. Because he's taking us out of the flesh and he's graduating us back into fellowship with him in the Ruah, in the spirit. But you got to get that revelation. I'm going to keep teaching on it. But you got to get that revelation that is between you and Yah. And he's actually uh, gave you a rebirth in the Ruah, in the spirit. That's why you got to be born again in the spirit. So even when the word was made flesh... It was the fulfillment of the tabernacle of witness. Oh, I'm trying to tell you something. <clears throat> the fulfillment of the tabernacle that traveled with them in the wilderness, another one then became the one that Solomon made, was, uh, was supposed to be a replica of the tabernacle in the wilderness, but he still wasn't even talking about Solomon. When he says Dawid's son would build the, 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 the tabernacle, Okay, let's let's get let's get let's 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 go deeper. <clears throat> this will help. First Kings, <clears throat> First Kings eight. How much time I got? First Kings eight. Let's start at thirty five. Watch this. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you this. First Kings eight and thirty five. Look what this say. When heaven is shut up <clears throat> and there is no rain. Now listen to this. Remember when he said in Second Chronicles seven and fourteen. Or 13, if I shut up heaven that there be no rain, or if I send the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, 
If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, I forget their sins and I hear their land. Y'all remember that? Listen, <clears throat> we're going through that right now, whether you know it or not. As the seals is being released, as they doing this virus, playing this virus game, radiating us with these 5G towers and all this old fun stuff, right? And people are getting sick and they going back to school because they got the 5G towers at school too. And now they're coming out with a new variant, a new variation of the, they got game for you, right? And as people getting scared to, to get the, the mark, the you know, to be able to buy and sell, because if you don't receive the mark, you're going to have problems buying and selling. All these things are coming to fruition, right? But it's really the most high behind the scenes saying that if I shut up heaven, that there be no rain, because rain supplies the food. If I shut up heaven, that there be no rain, right? Or, or, or. If I send locusts to devour the land, I keep telling y'all, the locusts come to kill the food you got. So everything is drying up right now. He stopped the future food for a minute. We enter into revelations. He's, he's shutting up heaven that there be no rain. So don't think don't think it's going to get better tomorrow. No, tomorrow's going to get worse. Today, he's sending the locusts to divide the land. And they got ships of food on dock. They're not letting it dock. It's dying. They, they, they're threatening uh, farmers to kill the food right now and all that. They're pouring out uh, hundreds of tons, uh, uh, gallons of, uh, of milk. They're doing all kind of stuff, claiming that there's a virus that's polluting everything, right? So that's the locusts. They're the locusts that's dividing the land, right? If I send pestilence among my people, now it's supposed to be all these variations of, of viruses and all that. <clears throat> Radiation and find you radiation kills your taste buds and it attacks your respiratory, but that's just a whole nother thing, right? But watch this. <clears throat> so, but his goal is then is a uh, 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 Chronicles uh, seven and fourteen. The next verse: If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, that's why he's allowing it, because he want to forgive our sins and heal our land. Watch this. Look what this say. Jacqueline, good to see you on. <clears throat> Listen, thirty-five. When heaven is shut up and there is no rain because they have sinned, see, they have sinned against thee. If, if they pray towards this place and confess thy name, keep that part, confess thy name and turn from their sins when thou afflictest them, right? That's why he's doing it. I'm telling you. <clears throat> then hear thou in heaven and give and forgive the sins of thy servants and of thy people, Yasharel, that thou teach them the good way wherein thou, they shall, they should walk. And give rain upon thy land, which thou hast given to thy people for an inheritance. And if there be in the land famine, if there be any pestilence, blasting, mildew, locusts, if there be any caterpillar, if there be any enemy besiege them in the land of their cities, uh, whatsoever plague, whatsoever sickness there be, with, <clears throat> what prayer and supplication so ever be made by any man or by all the people of Yasharel, which shall know every man the plague of his own heart, spread forth his hands towards this house. So he's telling you that when all this is going down, if you turn towards uh, this house, right? Right? <clears throat> this house that he'll forgive, right? Watch the 39th verse. Then hear thou in heaven thy dwelling place. Now remember he said he don't dwell in tabernacles made with hand because this is a shadow and a type of what's coming. Listen. Then hear thou in heaven thy dwelling place and forgive and do and give to every man according to his ways. <coughs> Excuse me. Whose heart thou knowest, for thou even thou only <coughs> knowest the heart of all children of men. <coughs> y'all don't see his man see. Man look with the outer pins, but y'all look at the heart. <coughs> man, let me clear my throat. <coughs> I noticed that real I, I've been noticing a lot of good teachers. Be hacking and stuff like that. I've been noticing that lately. Anyway, I'm one of, I'm not saying I'm a good teacher, <clears throat> but I sure got the hacking part. Listen, <clears throat> 41st. That they may fear thee all the days that they live in the land which thou gavest unto our fathers. Moreover, concerning a stranger, listen to this. Now he talking about strangers. Because Yasharel woke up to who they are and they think other Gentile nations can't be saved. You're wrong. Listen what this say. And this is Old Testament. And this is a foreshadow. This was happening in Old Testament all the way to the New. And now it's even perpetrated even more in the New because this is the fulfillment of the end of the prophecy. But anyway, look what this say. <clears throat> Moreover, concerning a stranger, 
that is not of thy people, Yasharel. Here we go. That is not of the people, Yasharel. Uh-huh. But cometh out of a far country for thy name's sake. They want his name. They want, <coughs> yeah, they want, <coughs> they want a relationship with the most high. Listen. For they shall hear of thy great name and of thy strong hand and of thy stretched out arm when he shall come and pray towards this house. So, so you got four nations coming to pray towards this house. Right? Look what the 43rd verse say. Hear thou in heaven thy dwelling place. <clears throat> Hear thou in heaven thy dwelling place. And do according to all that the stranger calleth to thee for. That all, listen, that all, not just Yasharel, y'all. That all people of the earth may know thy name to fear thee as do thy people Yasharel. So now it's talking about all people including Yasharel. Well, well, uh, 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 well, 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 uh, if all the people of the earth may know thy name to fear thee, as do thy people, Yasharel, and that they may know that this house which I have built is called by thy name. So the house that Solomon built, <laughs> that the house that Solomon built, look, the tabernacle was the blueprint for the for the house that Solomon was supposed to build. And, and, and the building of that house was called by the name of Yahusha, by Yah. Listen, these are foreshadows that when the tabernacle would be built, it would be called by his name. <clears throat> I'm trying to tell you something. The house that he built shall be called by thy name. Are, are, are you with me? Listen, 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 listen. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's go here. <clears throat> Let's go to Luke right quick. Um, Luke. Let me see here. Let me see. Here we go. Luke 1, twenty eight. <clears throat> 1 and 28. Lucas 1 and 28, if you got a secret. <clears throat> Look what it say. And the angel came unto her, Miriam, right? They call her Mary. And the angel came unto um, uh, uh, Miriam and said, Hail, uh, thou that art highly favored, Yahuwah is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Miriam, for thou hast found favor with Yah. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahusha. Okay? <clears throat> Didn't we just read in matter Yahu, Yah with us? Didn't we read in John 1 and 14 that Yah with us uh, um, is him tabernacled? Because he don't dwell in tabernacles made with hands. So he created himself his own house by overshadowing Miriam and told him what she shall call him. And if you look at the true name, not this transliteration of a transliteration of a transliteration. I'm not hating. I'm just telling you the truth, if that's okay, if you can receive that, right? <clears throat> but, well, let me just say that with this. In Psalms 138 and 2, like I keep teaching, uh, Yah says he exalts his word over his name. When you have a relationship with, with, with the word of Yah, which is Yah, yeah, Yah, Yah, Yah is his word. In the beginning was the word, the word was with Yah, and the word was Yah. Yah is his word, right? And he exalted the relationship with his word over his name because through his word, he'll reveal his name. His The fame of his name came from his word because he's not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should repent. He said, if I said it, ain't I, aren't I going to make it good? <clears throat> and he makes it good, I'm telling you. But listen, 
31st verse, and behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Yahushua and he, sh and he shall be great and, and shall be called the son of the highest and Yah thy Elohim shall give unto him the throne of his father David, right? Well, the throne of his father David, remember he was saying David wanted to build the house for Yahuwah, but he had blood on his hand. So he said, your son going to do it. Well, the first son that came out of him after that was Solomon. <clears throat> so, so, so by default, you would believe in Solomon, and Solomon built a house. But that was a shadow and a type of the of the true of the true son that would sit on the throne of Dawid, and it wasn't Solomon. It was the Mashiach. <clears throat> yeah, and he shall reign thirty third verse, and he shall reign over the house of a uh, year cold forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Come on, somebody. Listen. So, so the tabernacle was a shadow and type, which I plan to continue to teach y'all. But the, the tabernacle was a shadow and type of the Mashiach. Everything that's in the tabernacle pointed to the birth of the Mashiach. And the Most High gave us revelation that he don't dwell in, in houses uh, uh, made by hands. Yeah. He baptized himself and he tabernacles himself in his children. That is the conclusion of the matter. And that's the answer of Jeremiah who 31, 31 through 34. Right? <coughs> let me show you. Then I'm going to let y'all go. I just want to just mess with that the. Theology that jumped off the other day. <clears throat> yeah, we'll deal with it. <clears throat> um, what did I just say? What the heck did I just say? Somebody type in what I was just what scripture I was going to. <clears throat> what did I just say? Somebody type it in. I just, yeah, I just forgot what I was going to show y'all. <clears throat> Then I'm going to let y'all go. If somebody was listening to me, tell me what scripture I was going to or what I was just going to say. Do anyone know? That is bananas. Was you listening? <laughs> I don't remember what I was saying. <clears throat> it ain't nobody typing. What was I just saying? I wish I could play it back right quick. <clears throat> Let me think. Mm, I'm just going to have to dismount and end it. I'll listen to it because I plan on continuing to teach on this anyway. So tonight when I come back on, I plan on teaching harder <laughs> on it. i have just giving you a quick overview. But I know the most high do not dwell... In, in, in tabernacles made with hand, and ain't nobody telling me it was a, it was, it was a type. It was a type in the shadow. What was I thinking? It was a type in the shadow of the tabernacle. I believe you were in the theology of the tabernacle regarding Luke. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, that's exactly where I'm at. Literally, you exactly right, Tim. But. <clears throat> Okay, it's almost coming to me. Oh, it's trying to come. What was I going to say? Ah. There's so many places I can go. Karen Carter, good to see you up. <clears throat> um... I wish I remember. Oh, I'm going to get it. Don't worry about it. If he don't give it to me now, he'll just have me teach it tonight. <clears throat> That's for sure. And while I'm dealing with it, I'm just going to throw this in on the stream. I don't believe this is where I was going. There's so many things in my head. 
see, I can go here, I can go there. Okay, let me do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go to Isaiah. <clears throat> so many levels I can teach on this. But anyway, Isaiah, right? Isaiah 7 and 14. Look what this say, y'all. I'm going to go. I'm going to give y'all a couple of scriptures just on the strength. <clears throat> but 7 and 14. Isaiah 7 and 14. Look what this say. Therefore, <clears throat> Yahuwah himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son. And thou shalt call his name Emmanuel. Here we go again. Yah with us. Right? Fr from a virgin birth. Prophecy. It was applicable then. I'm not going to get deep into that right now. But it was applicable then. In fact, let me tell you this. Every prophecy was applicable then. I can't think of one. If there is one, I can't think of one that just served its purpose then. It was prophetic. It had a futuristic meaning. None of, no, I can't think of no prophecy that was forecast didn't have relevance right then because there's nothing new under the sun. Yeah, the things that are going to be have already been done, just like we're revisiting the days of Noah right now. Yeah, they had fallen angels dealing with them then and the knowledge of the fallen then, just like we got now. We think we're getting smarter. No, we're getting dumber. <laughs> And they playing games with us. <laughs> yeah, the knowledge of the fallen is happening right now. And what we got to do, because destruction is here because of sin. And what we got to do is <clears throat> repent. Grab back Yah. Forsake the flesh. W w look, <clears throat> him even having the virgin birth, he didn't, yet, he didn't let Yosef have anything to do with it. No, it was not to see the man. He was born of Yah, straight up. If we kept reading in Luke, you'd see it was the Ruah that overshadowed Mary, Miriam, and impregnated her. If we went back and finished reading, <clears throat> in fact, why not? Back to Luke 1, 34. Then Miriam, <clears throat> then said Miriam unto the angel, how shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, the Ruach HaKadosh shall come upon thee. I guess the Ruach HaKadosh is the father. If, you, if you're Trinity-minded, you don't understand stuff like this. <laughs> because if you, if, you knew, if you really knew the, the Yah head, you'd know that Yah is the Ruach. And this is the Ruach right here. And the only thing that made the Ruach the father is because he created. What made my father a father is he created me. What made, what, yeah, <laughs> what made me a father is I have children. If I didn't create children, I wouldn't be a father. I'm just trying to tell you. Yah is the Ruah, and they that worship him must worship him in Ruah and in truth. Yeah, uh, uh, John uh, 4 and 24, right? Yah is the Ruah. What kind of Ruah is he? Kadesh, holy. What the King James Version calls the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Listen, and the angel answered and said unto her, the Ruah HaKadosh shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing. What's the thing? The flesh. The Ruah is not a thing. Yeah. The flesh is. <clears throat> Therefore that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of Yah. That's why Galatians 4 and 4 said, when the fullness of time was come, Yah sent forth his son made of a woman. That's why John 3 and 6 says, that which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of Ruah is Ruah. Yeah. Your mama made the flesh, son or daughter. Miriam made the flesh, and it was called the son of Yah. What was in the son of Yah? The Ruah. And the word was made flesh, Yah. The same word in the beginning that was disrespected by, by uh, uh, Adam that brought death on the scene for going against the word, going against truth, came down 75 generations to be born. And everything that happened in between were shadows and types and lining up for the final day when the seed of the woman would bruise the head of the serpent and the serpent's head would bruise his heel. And the bruising of his heel was he was bruised for our iniquities. <laughs> he died on that tree for our sins and our trespasses. That was the bruising of his heel. But he tore down Satan's kingdom. <laughs> Ripped it to shreds. 
You get stuck in the in, in, in Torah and the Tanakh. Torah is the instructions of the Most High in completion. And the completions of Torah, a.k.a. the Word, was completed in the Mashiach when he was tabernacled and dwelt among us as we beheld his glory as of the only begotten of the Father full of unmerited favor and truth. Are you with me? Can't lead the Mashiach out. Can't get stuck in, in a carnal, uh, a fleshly, uh, looking for a, 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 a human land, physical land, returning to a physical land. In this place, it's going to be a new land and a new heaven, a new earth. Because we're going to die. We're giving up this body. We're putting on some a terrestrial body. We're we, 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 we dealing with the true resurrection. We're going to be resurrected unto a life eternal. Straight up. In the physical, if he rescue his children and bring them back to the land, I'm rolling with prophecy from on, 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 on the physical. But what, what happens when death comes? Yeah. What, what happens when you lay down? Huh? You're going to be resurrected on an eternal life or eternal death. And you can't say it ain't no, 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 no life after death. The, the mind of transfiguration, when he pulled the flesh off, he had a meeting with, with, with uh, 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 Moshe and, and, and Elijah. With Moshe, which represented the law. Elijah, which represented the prophets. He had a, had a meeting because they are lies. He, he's, the, he's the Elohim of the living, not the dead, because they still alive. The, the, this flesh is a temporary thing. All these different uh, states of flesh. There's so many different fleshes in the world. Come on, y'all. Flesh of the sea, flesh on land, and there's several different fleshes in the sea, and there's several different fleshes on the land. Acts, Acts, uh, Aquaman, who's a who's a type of a serpent. That's why he got that scepter, uh, uh shaped like that. And he, the dragon, which I ain't finna get into. I'm still studying that stuff, but it's interesting. <clears throat> but I'm done, y'all. I, I, I'm I'm lining it up to teach some more. Oh, 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 oh the Mashiach is real, y'all, and Yah is dealing with us according to the to to the Ruah. And, and he gives no credit to the flesh. I've been teaching it the last week. I haven't uploaded it to you, YouTube yet because I was out of town. But I'm back now. <clears throat> and I plan to up upload it to YouTube. But at the end of the day, he's dealing with us in the Ruach. And everything. Look, Yasharel, y'all trying to go back to the flesh. Y'all trying to go back to wardrobe and clothes and beards and hairdos. Thinking that that's Yah. Well, we had the hairdos. And, and the stuff, and, and we ended up being scattered and shipped into slavery and dogged out because we came up shorter than the midget. Come on now, wake wake up. Yeah, yeah, history proves who you are, but it should prove more who he is. And, 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 and to serve him, you got to do it in ruah and in truth. I'm trying to tell you something. We just read... <laughs> In, 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 uh, in, 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 uh, 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 um, uh, 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 uh Kings, uh, 843, that, that all the people of the earth may, may, may fear him, as do thy people, uh, Israel. And that all the people of the earth may know, uh, that this house which I built is called by thy name. And, but that is a house built with the hands of man. No, 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 no. He was going to build it. He was going to prepare himself a body. And he did through the virgin birth. I'm trying to tell you something. Which is the true Emmanuel, Yah with us. He had a desire to be with us. And he tabernacled himself through the virgin birth to be with us. To live the perfect example. And then die on that tree for our sins. Then rise again with all power. Then baptize himself inside of us. So we can be filled with the Ruah. To be led into all truth. To turn from our wicked ways. And accept the salvation that can only come from Yah and Yah alone. No flesh get the credit here. <clears throat> Are y'all with me? I'm going to deal with this false doctrine now. They, they didn't call me out, so here I am. <clears throat> y'all continue. Uh, 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 to, l l let's continue to seek him in Ruah and in truth, period. Don't get caught up in the flesh. 
We need him spiritually. We need him spiritually to, to, to give us a new birth and then take us through the mind transformation process that we can serve him in Ruah and in truth. And that's it. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Humbly as we know how, gleaning in the truth of your word, thy word is truth. Continue to reveal truth to your children that we may uh, uh, capture that which captured us. We need your ruah. We need your spirit. We need the truth of your word. And we'll be careful not only to obey you and to walk in it, but give you the praise and honor that's due your name moving forward. In the matchless name, Yahushua, we humbly pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Amon. That was the lesson for this morning. <clears throat> Got hyped up a little bit. I love, I love the most high and equally as important. I love y'all too. And I pray y'all love me too. And continue to pray for me as I pray for you all. Um, that was the lesson for this morning. I pray you got something out of it. Um, yeah, I pray you got something out of it. In fact, if you did, feel free to push the share button so somebody else can as well. Um, I'm going I'm to I'm deal with this, right? Um, I'm going I'm to I'm try to help uh, our brothers and sisters, Jacques Sherelle, be, because you, you got some people that really love him, and they falling back under the law and all that. I don't want to get too deep into that. It is what it is, <coughs> you know. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a teach it like he give it to me, and 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 I pray everyone can handle it. Whoever can't, I'm be praying for you. If you if you leave, I'm just gonna be praying for you. That's it. Love you still. Is that all right? I do love you. Believe me, and that's why I'm gonna tell the truth. And his sheep hear his voice. A stranger ain't gonna follow. That's it. Um, I like to thank everybody that supports this ministry because you help me do what I do, <clears throat> and obviously it's helping you. That's why you support the ministry. If there's anyone out there that's being benefited by this ministry and the Most High is revealed to you not to muzzle the mouth of the ox to tread out the corn and you'd like to become a supporter of this ministry so we can even do more. It's way more I want to do. You know what I mean? We just need support in order to do it. And if the Most High is leading you towards this ministry as a ministry you would support, it's my job to tell you how. If you got the cash app, just put in dollar sign, donate to Derek. Just dollar sign, donate the number two, D-E-R-R-I-C-K. Or you can go to paypal.me forward slash Derek Israel. Paypal.me forward slash D E R R I C K Y I S R A E L. Or you can go inside of Facebook, inside of Messenger, and there's a given button inside of there. I'm going to close with this. <clears throat> I'm a big giver, and I've been one from day one. You know, I, I sign over checks in the whole nine yards. I support the yacht because that's just how I believe. You feel me? Because that's what the word teaches. Listen to this. I be listening to people and they're sincere in their heart, right? And they be, I'm talking about teachers, not just lay people. I'm talking about teachers. Teachers be like, I hate when people be asking for money and leading and all. Let's check this out, right? Since when do we get more Kadesh than Yah? Because he's the one that taught Yasharel through saying, don't muzzle the mouth to tread out the corn. And, Sha and then Shaul said, did the Most High say that for ox? Or did he say that for us? No, Dolly, for us. The Most High want you to support his, his, when we was just reading in Exodus, in Exodus, he had, the, the Egyptian blessed them, and then he asked for that stuff that they were blessed with to give it back for his work. Yeah, straight up. Because that's how it worked. That's what he was saying in, um, in Exodus 25, if you study that. The Exodus, he, he got it back to build his house. You're supposed to give. And the more you give, the more he'll give to you. It's just real. We're not into the resource, which is money. We're into the source because you can't serve both. I'm just telling you because people mean well, even teachers. I like a teacher from a heart perspective say, oh, I don't like it when they ask for money. I teach for free. I teach for free too. And the part of the teaching is to tell you to give because that's what the words say. We don't serve man. We do not serve man. That's how he supports his work. Through the free will giving of his children. Free will. It ain't, well, 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 the man rob Yah type stuff from a physical standpoint. But you can rob Yah from a spiritual standpoint by not giving him what's due his name and or by not doing what he told you to do. All right. I just had to clear that up because people do mean well when they say that, but they, they add to the word. And he said, if you add to the word, I'll add the plans of the book to you. And if you take away, I'll take your name out of the last book of life. They add to the word and they take it away. You can't take away giving. Like, oh, I preach for free. So do I. 
And part of the preaching is the word, right? And preaching the word say give. And they say don't 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 muzzle the mouth of the ox to turn out the corn. You're supposed to support them. That's just what it is, y'all. And help support the work because there's a work to be done. Is that all right? I hope y'all got that. <clears throat> uh, I plan to be back on tonight. Prayer is super important. If y'all want to pray with us, uh, prayers at noon, and then I plan to be back at, at 7 p.m. Oh, it's leadership class tonight. No, we're not doing leadership class tonight. I'm going public for a while again. We'll we'll, we'll, adjourn, we'll get back to leadership class because this is leadership stuff and everybody need to hear it because I need to deal with this 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 stuff preaching against the Mashiach. Now I'm going to deal with it publicly for a minute. So we're going to be on tonight. Spread the word. We're going to be on tonight on Facebook Live, and that's what it is. Uh, Y'all permit. Is that all right? Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Y'all want to join us on the conference line? Y'all got any questions or statements or whatever? Join us. 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815648. We're on our way there now. You can join us if you like. Y'all be Baruch and Brock. Shalom. I'm gone.